Hey guys, Chad at Spy Racing Hoods. I want to take a time and show you another offering. This is in a GM 18 degree. So it's a 363, it's a 363 casting. They don't make this anymore. It's a shame. But this is the large program. Um, it's a, uh, we'll go over the specs here real quick. So basically it's got three inches at the opening. So that's that number's with the corner radius taken out. It's got 2.95 at the front. It's a pretty big port. It's a really nice port. Uh, you can see the 2.95, you can see my line there, is basically an inch in. So basically these heads are a pro port. They got a really small opening and it takes a lot of CNC time to, uh, to rough them in first and then cut them. But you can also see that the port length Basically what you do is you take the top and the bottom all the way to the seat, divide it by two, and that's your center line. So you can see that it was four, 500 on the bottom, six, 700 on the top, divided by two, it's got a five, 600 long port. I'm not sure how big it is, probably in the high 270s. I haven't CC'd it, um, but that is the, the minimum is 2.95. So it's a pretty big port. So we take it over here and basically this is more or less known for nitrous, but I've been doing it a lot more in NA engines, uh, simply because the chambers are getting smaller and it just helps with tuning. Um, but you can see this kind of, I actually, I put uh, the Killer B seats in this head and you can see that the throat on it is 2010. So it's 91 and a half percent without the valve stem deducted. This is actually an 11 30 seconds. Um, so a 5 16th is gonna yield you more area. Exhaust throat is 1450, that's 91%, and the same thing, no, no uh, stem's been taken out of it. So you can see, um, you know, typical, like I say, I, I always talk about it, how the dial job comes off the top, it's a 50 degree seat. Uh, this has got a 40 top. So let's roll it around here, uh, I'll roll it up here. Here is uh, the short side. I mean, nice wide floor. Uh, I'll show you what the velocity speeds are on the floor here in a second. And like I've said in other videos, the apex is trump. It's king. It dictates how this port's gonna work. So you work on that area. You work on that area by pushing bowls over. You can see making them wider. Uh, you can see how it uh, it's kind of lower in the center, but you can definitely see that the it's it's definitely laid back. Um, you have to do that to get your high end flow. So here's the exhaust port. So basically, this 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 head, I've been trying to find castings. There have been a lot floating around. I'm trying to get a hold of a trick flow. Um, 18 degree casting because I heard that it was a direct copy of the GM. I'm gonna find out. Uh, I haven't haven't been able to get one from those guys, but uh, you can also see here to where um, they send those in the bag. So you have to put your, or I do, put the um, heli coils in. But uh, it's, you know, it's 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 got some push rod clearance in it, so you should be able to get a big push rod in it. So it's just really a really nice casting. I mean, there's a nice picture of the port. Oh, that's a head bolt window. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, it's okay. So let's go over here to the flow bench. So you can see here in my test comments, yep, like I showed you, got a 91 and a half throat, 92% exhaust. I was a little smaller over there. I use a billet plate. It's got uh, 50 degree seats and it's uh, 320 feet straight through the pinch. That's, that's important. Um, you could do all 12 points. You, I, I worry about the center. I mean, that's the easiest. So if that number was high, I would definitely probe the whole port in that area and find out where I can take some material, uh, where the local ice speed is too fast. So, so that number right there is roughly right where that line is. So we can take that number, that 295 number, um, we can take it, and that was done at 800. We take 800 flow number times 2.4, divided by that number and it should come up real close to 310 feet per second. Uh, if I had a calculator, we would do it. I'll actually tell you what I'll put it in the description. I'll, I'll put it in the description 
So basically, this is why Larry Moe kept saying, you got to measure it. So the corner radius is going to have an effect on center velocity. So we know it's 2.95 there. We know measured on the flow bench, it was 320 feet per second at 800. So now we can take the 377.6 and do the math. I will put it in the notes. Uh, float on a 4155 fixture. Let me get the uh, overall, let me get it, all of it for you. Report, intake, exhaust. So this is 200, 200 to one inch. So there's the intake, the exhaust flow flows real nice. No, it didn't have any port on it, all right. Uh, port, geez, excuse me. Did not have an exhaust pipe on it. So that's just raw flow. So just wanted to take a little time, kind of show you the spots where you can measure to find out this area, the throat area, this area, this length right here is important. You need to know those things when you know what size cylinder to put on an engine. Basically at the end of the day, CCs is basic average velocity. We could take this number, we can take the flow, and we can take the port size and figure out average velocity. Average velocity is what we want. That's the same thing as old school CCs. It's the same concept, same thing. I'd rather talk in average velocity. It's all math. I'll post some math figures in the, in the uh, comments down below. So uh, just wanted to show you guys, maybe give you a little bit of math. It's all math. If you don't get it math, you're not gonna be good at porting cylinder heads. That number, that major number, minus the corner radius, math, but this number over here, let's go back. That number right there is actual. That's what the velocity is. No matter, you can do all the math you want. We can get it close with a formula, but that's measured with this right here, which is a pitot tube. I do two ways. I use my black box and I got my water manometer hooked up. These are both pitot tubes from Bruce at PTS. In my opinion, they're the best ones I've found. It lasts a long time. I had my first one, I don't know how long I had it, 10 years. Finally took a beating. So thanks for looking. Any questions, post it up. If you like to see something in general, post it up. And uh, glad you guys are looking. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions, call me, 785-623-0963. Y'all have a good day. Take care.